Just one game remains in the college football season, and it promises, folks, to be one for the ages. The two top teams and the final collegiate appearance of the Heartbreak Kids as well here in the Big Easy for the College Football Playoff National Championship. It's the Texas Longhorns against the USC Trojans. and catch and I'm guessing probably not the last connection for them in this national title game. I would agree with that. Nice throw there by Matthews. Put it right in his hands. But how about this young man and his switch to receiver? Think of what he's had to... Oh, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. First and goal. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, that and he is in for a USC touchdown. A great play there. Set it down. Here's first and ten for the Trojans. First and ten at the 13-yard line. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. He was brought down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. From the gun on third down, Matthews. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. USC field goal. A 28 yard attempt. His kick is indeed good, and a lead works its way up to 10, 24. On first down, Charles, and shutting him off, now open field. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is in for a USC touchdown. A great effort there. On his way to a monster. USC now sits just two quarters from a national title. Longhorns, 14. Solid game. And he'll 
find Washington. That's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's good. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. USC gets set here first and ten. One yard line. Operating from the gun. Matthews. That's complete to war. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Charles. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of script. And he is in for a USC touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Trojans add on to their lead. First down, Matthews. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Intended that time for Cooper, and that'll bring up second down. The 25-yard line. They run, Charles. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Matthews. It's complete to the tight end play. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Back now here on EA Sports. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 16 yards, a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And that will end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. All you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in for a USC touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown. Six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's it. That's what you want. 
straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run got six. Now second and four. They'll keep it on the ground with Charles again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Now what a first down pickup of eight. I know we're there of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. What a run for the Heartbreak Kids, and it all culminates here in the Big Easy. They are the national champions. So that truly a champion's performance. Weapons galore on the offensive side of the football, and they finish things off in style as they will be crowned the champions of the college football world.